Hello, one back tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at when next week's 10 days. So, today's video, this will take us into uh, April. I think up to something like the 3rd or 4th of April with this. So, the dry weather that we've had the past couple of weeks had high pressure in around the UK for about two weeks now. It's on its way out, and we're going to see a rapid change to much more unsettled conditions as we get through uh, into the East Pier, particularly then on into next week. This is going to last, I think into the start of April. We're going to be a traditional uh, bank holiday weekend, pretty wet and windy at times. If you want to know more uh, more detail on the bank holiday, um, we'll have one last uh, look at that this evening on the Easter updates page. Uh, so, before we get on with the um, week to 10 day look here, just to say about the ads that gather this, there's links to articles on all the pages, have a browse through widgets and click through the links if there's any articles that you're interested in. Thanks so much for doing that. There's video ads on most of the pages, which open up the content you're watching, they'll close back up again. It all helps to pay for the website. Uh, just to say about the competition, uh, we're well into the competition now, we're over the halfway point. I've had a phenomenal response once again, as always. Uh, we've teamed up with MechCheck.co.uk Weather Instrumentation to give away this fantastic digital thermometer. So this is it, this is the prize we're giving away. Uh, digital thermometer worth £25.50, so it's a great prize. Um, as I say, this is coming from MechCheck.co.uk Weather Instrumentation, it's MechCheck's uh, logo. And we can quickly click through to MechCheck's website. Uh, so this is it. This is MechCheck.co.uk. Uh, we can get loads and loads and loads of weather instrumentation and uh, really fantastic um, items that you can uh, get from MechCheck weather instrumentation in terms of thermometers, barometers, uh, hydrometers. Um, you name it, you can get it from uh, MechCheck.co.uk. Rain gauges as well. It's all there for you if you would like to go there and buy those items but this is uh, a freebie so uh, this is worth £25.50 and all you have to do to win this is to email your name and address to gavsweatherviz at gmail.com that's all you have to do you don't have to answer any questions or anything like that just a prize draw so uh, your name will be placed into the bag and then at 7 o'clock on this page the competition page of gavsweathervids.com uh, at 7 o'clock on Easter Sunday evening one name uh, will be drawn out of the bag at random, and that person will win uh, this thermometer. So without having to do anything other than firing off an email, it's going to take about a minute, um, you could be the proud owner of a digital thermometer worth £25.50. So um, we like to uh, give away some freebies at Gazzle. This is the third year we've done a competition and uh, get emailing when you're finished with the video and uh, you've got to be in it to win it so uh, send off your email with your name and address subject title prize draw and you could well be uh, getting a thermometer coming to you free of charge next week right let's get on with the uh, update we're going to have a look at 500 bit of our height anomaly uh, flow charts first of all so um, we've got the ECMDF here on the uh, top, the GFS is on the bottom. By the way, I'm having a bit of a problem with my highlight this morning, which means that um, when I uh, do the graphics, the uh, colour is fading slightly for some reason. So I hope you can uh, see the highlighter okay. But uh, anyway, we've got the ECMWF here on the top. The GFS is on the bottom, 500 millibars. 18,000 feet is an area in the atmosphere where high pressure and low pressure being moved around by a jet stream running above. As I say, if this takes into the start of April, we'll go to around the 3rd, 4th of April with this. And the East End Earth is placing a very deep trough of low pressure right over top of the country. There it is, uh, with the jet stream going generally a little bit to the south. Uh, so it really is quite an unsettled one, that. Very Atlantic driven, uh, low pressure dominating right in over the top of the UK. As I, say, I hope you can see this OK. I'm not sure why the highlighter is doing this uh, this morning, but um, you can just about make it out, I think, uh, even when I've drawn it. So the trough of low pressure is right in over top of the country, and uh, the jet stream is a little bit to the south. So generally, it's quite cool and quite unsettled with the ECWF. The GFS isn't quite as bad. This is the GFS just here. And, uh, well, it's still Atlantic driven, but the trough isn't as deep. So, um, it's not quite as disturbed as the ECM. Nevertheless, it's still an unsettled Atlantic driven pattern going into the start of April. So, uh, GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles for uh, the next couple of weeks. The red line here 
is the 30-year temperature average. What we see here is that we're generally going a little bit above average over the east weekend. So the temperatures are going to be cold. It's going to be unsettled east weekend. But I don't think the temperatures are going to be too bad. Uh, however, as we get through into next week, they do cool off just a little bit. But overall, not deviating all that far from the average ring. Now, as we go through into the side of April, quite interestingly, this is the 1st of April, just here. As we go into the start of April, we're definitely seeing a trend within the ensemble to lift up the temperatures. Um, there has been the suggestion uh, with some of the model output recently that uh, we might build the heights up over Greenland, possibly produce some sort of Greenland high. Uh, if we get that, we can get cold even into April. But the GFS ensembles aren't really interested in that. I don't think. And the overall trend going into the first week of April is definitely to lift those temperatures rather significantly, actually, above the red line, above the 30-year average. It's a long way off, but we could get our first real push-up in temperatures, I think, as we get through into the first week of April. We'll wait and see on that. Whatever, whatever happens with the temperatures, we are in for a very unsettled period, so uh, loads of precipitation spikes just here, lots of rain coming up over the next few days and through the Easter weekend. When it stays unsettled, really, through into the first week of April, remain Atlantic-driven, perhaps not quite as wet as it will be, over the Easter weekend, but nevertheless, I think we are looking at several bouts of rain even as we get through into the start of April. The temperature anomaly for the coming week, that comes out generally around average, not a great deviation. The only thing we perhaps seem to get being a little bit cooler than average, really. Um, but as I say, not a great deviation in temperatures from the 24th of March through to the 1st of April. Precipitation anomalies, they're coming out uh, wetter than average, so a pretty wet period coming up. You won't be surprised after seeing that um, very unsettled-looking GFS uh, precipitation on some of all those rainfall spikes. But that's the confirmation from the 24th of March to the 1st of April. We are looking at a significantly wetter than average week. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at the generic chart. And I think we'll start off with the GFS, as we normally do. We have a look at these charts. So uh, for Bank Holiday Monday, this is a rather alarming-looking uh, chart that we've got for Bank Holiday Monday. Look at this, a very deep area of low pressure at 975 millibars right over the, uh, the south of England. That isn't what you want to be seeing on a Bank Holiday Monday. As I say, we'll have a detailed look at the Easter uh, weekend, the full weekend from Good Friday through to Easter Monday on the Easter Updates page this evening, but um, expect a very unsettled bank holiday, particularly on Monday with that area of low pressure right over top of the country. That's a really deep area of low pressure for, uh, for the 28th of March. We go through into Tuesday and the return to work will still be unsettled, that low pressure clearing off into the North Sea, but uh, low pressure is still dominating, so showers or long spells of rain will be revolving around that low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. Through into the middle part of next week, stays unsettled, and then uh, through the second half of next week, quite interesting what's going on there because um we've got a bit of a ridge developing up to the north so some quite cold air in with that we've got this low pressure though down to the south uh trying to bring warmer air up from the south so there's a bit of battleground uh uk sorry going on here cold air is trying to come down from the north warmer air is trying to push up from the south and uh, what eventually happened on this particular run of the gfs anyway is that the cold air wins the battle. But the air masses are, uh, well, look at this. This is the upper air temperatures for Friday the 1st of April. There's a very big contrast in the air masses here. We've got a lot of cold air sitting up to the north, but very warm air down to the south. So really uh, well, warm air across much of France into Germany. We've got the um, tailoring 15 Celsius ice firm air moving up out of the Mediterranean across France. So... Uh, from the UK to France, there is something like, I think it's something like a 20 to 25 Celsius temperature differential. And there's probably a weather front, an area of low pressure in between those two air masses. Uh, that would be somewhere uh, through here. So, um, well, watch this space on that because it depends where the uh, dividing line sets up. But potentially there could be quite a lot of rain uh, coming in with that uh, as those two air masses are clashing. Uh, as I say, on this particular run of the GFS, that low pressure 
uh, moves away to the south and the east and it's high pressure to the north but wins the battle so this is quite cold actually going through into the first week of april despite the uh, GFS Ensemble looking generally uh, warm into the first week of April. The um, the GFS, this particular operational run of the GFS, has the cold air winning the battle from the east and the northeast. So uh, it's very uncertain what's going on here into the first week of April. The GFS Ensembles are quite strong in lifting the temperatures up, but we keep getting these operational runs of the GFS, which, um, and this is the latest operational run, the 6 o'clock run, and uh, we keep getting these uh, that want to bring us colder weather through the first week of April. So it's just basically a case of watch this space. We need a bit longer to resolve this. But the confusion is probably because of those two air masses, the warm air mass trying to come up from the Med and from France, and cold air mass trying to come down from the north. That, no doubt, is creating quite a lot of model confusion. Uh, the ECWF, so really unsettled bank holiday money. There's that area of low pressure. It's probably going to give us a bit of a washout, the bank holiday Monday. We go through into Tuesday, low pressure still dominant. That stays with us into the middle part of next week. Then uh, through into Thursday and Friday, this is the area of low pressure that the GFS uh, wants to try and push up from France into the UK. Quite how close that gets to us, uh, quite uncertain. The East Central Earth is placing that more over towards Germany and actually has us under an Atlantic influence. The upshot is that we just stay very unsettled through that uh, opening weekend of April. We're sort of on the high anomaly chart. So on Sunday the 3rd of April, which is day 10, the low pressure is right over top of the country at 980 millibars. And it's case of showers, long spells, of rain. Finally, VG and the Canadian. It's all in agreement. Very unsettled conditions throughout next week with low pressure really close by. At the end of next week, we don't try to push that warm air up from the south. Actually, we have the ridge up to the north, keeping us quite chilly from the north or the northeast. We end up on day 10. Uh, this is a bit different. The GM is always a bit different in its extended range. So we've got high pressure here sitting up to the northeast. And then we've got low pressure out to the west. Bit of a battle going on with jet stream doing something like that. But the upshot is that even into the first weekend of April, it is very unsettled. So um, it's a bit of a confused picture through next week, but the overall message is to stay really unsettled. The first bout of rain is coming across the country today, and it's going to stay unsettled into the Easter weekend. It's going to be a classic uh, Easter, unfortunately. Uh, it's not great um, with showers along the spells of rain. And we're going to next week, and we keep it on so with low pressure dominant. The question mark for next week, particularly later next week, is in terms of temperatures. Will that warmer air that's trying to push up out of the make get to us, or will we stay quite cold and chilly? And where those two air masses are meeting, there's going to be quite a lot of rain. It's to be determined where that is, would it be over UK, would it be across France, would it be across Germany? Somewhere later next week, you're going to get very wet, I would think, as these two air masses clash. But uh, we've got to wait and see quite where that happens. That's it for now. Come back this evening for a detailed look at the Easter weekend. It'll be the last one that we do. It's Good Friday tomorrow, of course. So the Easter weekend will be getting underway very shortly. Uh, come back for that this evening. Tomorrow it's JMA Friday, but it's Good Friday. It'll be staying as normal at Gasworth this, um, with uh, the latest update from the Japanese and CFS V2 models for the next month. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.